What's up, family? Welcome to another episode of Sneaker Notes. I'm your boy, c -Notes. Thanks for checking me out. And um, a couple of days ago, I did a new segment on the channel called Hold, Sell, Buy. And um, y'all show love on that video. But it was more to that video. Um, I had to cut it short because I was running way over 10 minutes, so I cut it short. So today, I'm going to give y'all part two of that video. But before I do that, let me show y'all some of the things I picked up. Yeah, I know, man. We... We lost bad, man. Shout out to the Green Bay Packers. The Cowboys always do this to me, man. That don't mean I ain't gonna steal cop, man. Especially if they add Post Malone, man. So Post Malone did a collab with the Dallas Cowboys. I got the shirt, hoodie, and hat. But only the shirt came. It's, it's like a... You only could get it from Network, I believe. And I don't know what's going on with the shipping. But it comes in a nice... Bag, Post Malone, Cowboys. Still, it's hard doing this video, guys. I'm not gonna lie. But the shirt is dope, man. Here go the T here. You got Post Malone face on the front, all his tattoos and stuff. Post at the top with the Cowboy logo on both sides. Nice look, guys. Dallas Cowboys got a QR code. I don't know. Y'all can scan that, see where that take y'all. Post Malone, man. Dope, dope look. Also, the Das Mamba tee. You know that um Nike's rolling out that Das Mamba um things going on. It's like billboards all over the city. Kobe Bryant RP, man. Told you, anything Kobe I'm copping and I'm keeping. Y'all know that. Das Mamba T, all white, black writing, Nike logo. Uh, how much I pay? I think I pay $50 or $40 retail. And it's still available on Nike. The hoodies are gone, but this white tee is still there. So if you're a Kobe fan, go out and get you this tee, man. Because you know getting the sneakers is like very, very hard. At least you could get a tee, man. Uh, they're about to put his, his trophy. They're about to put his trophy up. Um, his statue up. Um, August, I believe. And then you know Mamba Day, all that stuff coming up. So you get the rep. And last but not least, to go with these born and raised joints, I finally copped a born and raised Lakers shirt. And it's a perfect match, guys. I seen it on the internet, so I knew it was perfect already. Here we go. Oh, good material, man. This is my first born and raised tee. I always get the hats. But yeah, man. They go to Born and Raised L.A.T. Little logo on the front. Huge logo on the back. Laker logo. Dope match, man. Retail, $54. I got it from NewEra.com, I believe. Yeah, guys, so I want to say thanks for rocking with your boy, man. I really appreciate y'all. And here's part two of the whole sale buy segment. Next up, we have the Nike SB April. I decided to do these ones because these are the last dunks of the year besides the Power Pub joints. Uh, check out my top five dunks of the year. These actually cracked the top five. I'm not going to tell you where. I need the view. Watch the view. Watch the video. Um, Dope sneaker, man. April Skateboard came out of nowhere with a fire SB. I had to pay resale. They didn't drop on the sneakers app, um, but I brought them early from GOAT, and I think I paid like $270 or something. I, I really wanted to pay like closer to $250, but it, it, the market wasn't going down. So let's check now. Ten and a half, which is here. Um, oh, I got a $20 code on GOAT. February 4th, it ends. I got to buy something, guys. So for ten and a half is $345. It went up since I, I did the uh, since I brought them. They got a one with defect that's actually higher than the regular. A size eleven is three seventy eight. So this sneaker is on the up and up, guys. This sneaker is going up. Um, is it worth three fifty in my opinion? Yes, it, it's worth three fifty, guys. I don't know what retail is. I didn't even get a chance to buy it retail. But I'm sure it's not more than 150 It's an SB Dunk. They're very affordable for retail. The problem is you can't get them for retail. But um, 
It's worth the resale, guys. I would definitely buy this sneaker. This is an iconic SB Dunk. I will buy this sneaker. Um, and if I'm a reseller, I'm selling. But not right now. I'm holding. I'm holding this. This is going to go up. Ain't no restocks, guys. It's not going to restock. Mm -mm. You, if you want this sneaker, you, you got to go now, I think. Um, the good thing that I try to give you a little hints and tips. When a sneaker is like maybe in that three, four, five months process, go to go look for something with damaged box, right? You can't wear the box, guys. I don't even put my sneakers in boxes. So when I see a damaged box and it's like $40 under the resale, I'm buying it. I've ripped the box up myself more when it comes. So that's just a little jewel I'm trying to give y'all guys, man. If you're just into sneakers, some people are very persistent. They don't like their boxes messed up. And I ain't, ain't nothing wrong with that neither. But this one right here, I'm holding if I'm a reseller. Hold up. And I'm Wait a minute. And I'm buying now if I'm a, if I'm an SB head or a sneaker head. For sure. One more. The great Kobe Bryant, man. The gift of Mamba, right? The black Mamba, not the rattlesnake. I, 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 see, the, I see the comments, man. <laughs> Whatever, man. Listen, man. I told y'all again, I'm never selling a Kobe sneaker in my life, man. Like, at that time when I sold my Grinches and my Bruce Lees, I was under the impression I'm just, I got over 40, believe it or not, over 40 Kobe Bryant jerseys, right? A couple of hoodies, some shirts. I just copped a shirt yesterday, the Mamba gear for That's Mamba. I, I got a lot of Kobe gear. I was under the impression I didn't need the sneakers, and, and now I'm sad about it, man. But yeah, this is definitely a hold for me if you're a reseller even. They're just going to keep going up, right? I know the material is... is the material, it's like, it's a funny sneaker, right? Like, some of the sneaker is luxurious, especially the Black Mamba snake skin, right? But it does feel a little cheap a little bit. I'm, I'm not going to lie, guys, but it does fit to your feet. It's made for basketball, even though it has a luxury look. I still feel like this is going to go up, man. Um, I don't think it's never going to pass the Grinches. If you look at the... um. Why am I blinking? The GG joints, right? The Mama Cedar joints, they were high. They, they went to a stack right away. I think right now they're like 700, 600. Let's check with where these at right now on the market. First, let me fact check the Mama Cedars. Did they actually go down? Okay, here they go. Yeah, they went down. So the Mama Cedars right now, you could get for. Anywhere between five fifty and seven twenty five, so they did go down. Cause this sneaker was, <laughs> this sneaker was up there, man. Right. So let's look at these now. The gift of Mamba joints three forty five. So they did drop because the release week they were like four fifty. So they dropped down a whole hundred dollars. Someone asked me on my review, should I go now? Should I buy now? I told them wait a week. I hope he waited a week. Because he got a whole hundred dollar discount. Remember, this is not a cheap sneaker neither. The sneaker was two hundred and um like forty dollars, man. Yeah, so if you want the sneaker, I say wait one more week. Wait one more week, right? Um, or even wait to a release of a new Kobe, because there's a lot of Kobe's coming out. It's probably cut off, you can't see all my Kobe's up here. But um, it's another Kobe's, there's a lot of Kobe's coming this year, but one's coming next month in February. I say wait. If you really want this sneaker and you don't plan on rocking in the month of January, I say wait two weeks, man, and you'll probably get somewhere around that 300 price range. But when when Kobe Day come out, Mamba Day come out, when they put a statue up next year, I mean this year, all this stuff is going to rise again. So you got to be persistent in your timing. Like, when you want like a, um, a mummy SB or a... Um, that Trick or Treat SB that I was trying to get a couple of months ago. The Mischief joints, right? Shattered Backboard joints. Jordan 1s. Any Shattered Backboard joints. You can't buy them in October. October, the price is ridiculous on them sneakers. But try in June. You'll see a little different discount. Same thing with um the Concept Ugly Christmas Sweater joints or the Sean Claver SB Dunks. You can't try to buy them sneakers around Christmas. Those are Christmas sneakers. 
the resellers know they're raising a the price around that time. The Turk Duncan um concept joints, right? Flop, right? I like the sneaker, but the sneaker flop. I had the big box with the nerf with the mashed potatoes. I had it, right? That sneaker flop, right? That sneaker is like $200. That's with the gift box, right? But try to buy it around Thanksgiving, man, and see the price of that. So you got to be like, you got to know. So Mamba Day, any Kobe anniversary, his death date, like, you cannot try to get a Kobe in that month, man. You're going to get taxed. So I said February, that's when you try to go for these, if not the last day of January. RP Mamba. Yes, sir. So that was the new segment to the channel. Hold, buy, sell. Um, just trying to give y'all some information on when to cop, how to cop. I was about to say why to cop. That that would have been crazy. But yeah, man. I hope I help. Um, any information you need, I'm here, man. I'm not a robot. I'm around. I appreciate all y'all who watch these videos, man. I'm your boy Sneaker Notes. Everybody, get rich.